Good day everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Our topic for today is illustrating angles in standard position and coterminal angles. When do we say that an angle is in its standard position? In Cartesian plane, an angle in standard position, if its vertex is at the origin and its initial side coincides with the positive x-axis. Okay, let us illustrate it by using, of course, this angle. Number one, pi over two. So it says here that the initial side is, of course, the positive x-axis. This one is the positive x. This one is number one. And then it's pi over two. So this one is, of course, pi over two. This one now is, of course, pi over two in standard position. Okay? So, what about number two? Number two, we have 5 pi over 4. This one is the initial side, the positive x. And then, it's 5 pi over 4. So, this one is pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 4 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4. So, this one is the angle. Of course, in counterclockwise rotation, this one is the angle. This one is the theta. And of course, here, this one is the theta. Number three, we have negative pi over six. This time, the rotation of the angle is clockwise. So, this one is the initial side, which is, of course, the x, positive x. And then, it's negative pi over 6. So therefore, this is negative pi, the whole, and then this one is negative pi over 6. This one is the angle. Example number 4, we have negative 3 pi. So the rotation of the angle is of course clockwise. So this one is the starting point or the initial side, and this one is of course negative pi or negative 1 pi, negative 2 pi, and then negative 3 pi. So we need to say this is one complete turn and then this one. Okay, this one is the angle. So it's negative 3 pi. Number 5, we have 7 pi over 3. It's positive. This one is the initial side. So we will divide the pi into how many? 3. So, this one is approximately like this. Okay. So, this one is pi over 3. This is 2 pi over 3. This is 3 pi over 3. This is 4 pi over 3. This is 5 pi over 3. This is 6 pi over 3. And this one is 7 pi over 3. So, therefore, one complete turn and then this one. This is the angle now. Okay. Let us now go to coterminal angles. Two angles in standard position are said to be coterminal if their terminal sides coincide. What do we mean by that? Meaning, the initial side and the terminal sides of these angles are the same. Find three angles that are coterminal with the given angle. So the given angle is zero. If we illustrate it, this one is the zero angle. This one is the terminal and this is the initial. Okay. If I will be giving one coterminal angle to zero, I will be moving here, a complete turn of course. This one is my initial side and this one is also my terminal side. Therefore, one coterminal angle of 0 is 2 pi. Another coterminal angle of this is when I move clockwise. This one in this rotation. This one. 
My initial side is this, the positive x, and also my terminal side. Therefore, another coterminal angle of 0 is negative 2 pi. Now, we, add, we have to give one more. So, therefore, we just add 2 pi to it. So, that is 2 pi, 2 pi. That will be 4 pi. Okay? If you want more, you just add negative 2 pi, negative 2 pi. That will be negative 4 pi. Number 2. Here in number 2, we are asked to find coterminal, three coterminal angles of negative 3 pi over 2. So, this one is the initial side. And the terminal side is negative pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, negative 3 pi over 2. Okay. So this one is the angle. So I will be giving, of course, a coterminal angle to this. So if I will rotate it this way, counterclockwise, that will be pi over 2. Okay, and then if I will continue it, that one, this will be pi over 2, 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2, that will be 5 pi over 2. Okay, what about the negative? So this one is negative 3 pi over 2, this is negative 4 pi over 2. This is negative 5 pi over 2. This is negative 6 pi over 2. And this one is negative 7 pi over 2. That's it. Just add 2 pi or negative 2 pi. Example number 3. I will not be illustrating anymore this one because I know already how to get the coterminal angles of a given angle. How? You just add 2 pi or negative 2 pi. Let's add 2 pi to it. So this one is over 1. This is negative pi plus 12 pi over 6. This is equal to 11 pi over 6. So one coterminal of negative 5 or negative pi over 6 is 11 pi over 6. What else? I will be adding 2 pi more. So this is 11 pi over 6 plus 2 pi so this one is equivalent to 11 pi plus 12 pi over 6 so this is equivalent to 23 pi over 6 so this is 23 pi over 6 I already have two one more what if I will be adding negative 2 pi this time so this is negative 2 pi, this is negative pi minus 12 pi over 6, this is negative 13 pi over 6. Okay, so negative 13 pi over Example 6. Example number 4, we have 5 pi over 3, so I will be adding here. 2 pi, so this is over 1, this is 5 pi plus 6 pi over 3, this is equivalent to 11 pi over 3, that is one coterminal angle, so we have 11 pi over 3. Another, I will be adding 2 pi more, so that will be 11 pi plus 6 pi over 3. This is equivalent to 17 pi over 3. So this is 17 pi over 3. Okay. And the last one, one more. So this time I will be adding negative. This is 5 pi over 3 plus negative. Or it can be minus. That's the same. Plus negative or minus 2 pi. They are the same. So this is 5 pi minus 6 pi over 3. This one is negative pi over 3. So this is negative pi over 3. Those are the three coterminal angles of number 5. 
we have 7 pi over 4. So 7 pi over 4, again we add 2 pi or negative 2 pi. This is equal to 7 pi plus 8 pi over 4. This is 15 pi over 4. So that is one called terminal angle. 15 pi over 4. This time I will be adding 2 pi again. So this one is equivalent to 15 pi plus 8 pi over 4. So this is 23 pi over 4. This is 23 pi over 4. Then I will be adding 7 pi over 4 by negative 2 pi. Okay, as I have said, it's the same. Plus negative or minus. That will be equal to 7 pi minus 8 pi over 4. So this is negative pi over 4. So the three coterminal angles of 7 pi over 4 are 15 pi over 4, 23 pi over 4, and negative pi over 4. Okay.